I was on holiday in Dubai, my mum was putting sun cream on and throughout the day she saw it changing and she said to me, this isn't right. Cara was on holiday with her family when her mum first noticed a mark on her back. To start with, I didn't go to the doctor straight away um, and she had to nag me a little bit um, because I'd never heard of melanoma before. Um, but then I decided to make the doctor's appointment and that appointment saved my life. Um, everything was really quick. So from going to the doctors, I was seen within 10 working days and then it was sent off and I had to wait a little while for it to come back. But it was absolutely terrifying. It's the last thing that I ever expected would happen, especially at the age of 30. Doctors were able to successfully remove Cara's melanoma but she lives with a worry that it might come back. That's what doctors at University College London Hospital are hoping to prevent with a groundbreaking new cancer vaccine. Developed by Moderna and MSD, the jab is now being rolled out for a final trial after promising results. Steve Young is one of the first patients on this trial. He says he had a massive shock when a small bump on his head turned out to be melanoma. But he said he was hugely excited to be part of the trial and that this was his best chance at stopping the cancer in its tracks. I think this whole area of immunotherapy for cancer is probably one of the most exciting developments in, in modern cancer therapy. It comes after many, many years of fundamental research into how the body's immune system is regulated and how cancer tries to evade and escape immune recognition. And the more we've learned about that over, over many years, the more we're able to turn the whole thing on its head and to attack cancer using the body's immune system. To make the vaccine, cancer cells are first removed from an individual patient. The DNA of the tumour is then sequenced using help from artificial intelligence. Then this is used to create a personalised jab for the individual patient which, when injected, triggers the immune system to fight the patient's specific type of cancer. Melanoma is the fifth most common cancer in the UK, with nearly 16,000 cases reported in 2021. Researchers here at the UCLH hope that this treatment will help people to get rid of their cancer for good and, in the future, expand its use to tackle bladder, lung and kidney cancers. The cancer vaccine is being hailed as a game changer and for patients like Cara, some hope in the fight against this deadly disease. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.